good. Valentine's Day is tomorrow, so mm -hmm. very important. Yeah. Well, many people, by the way, since it is Valentine's Day, are thinking about their loved ones. That's right, and for one local couple, it meant tying the knot over the weekend. But when they realized their most honored guests couldn't be there, they brought the wedding to them. <laughs> Kelly Anderson and photojournalist Alana Dalfino have the story. So go on in, get settled, Thanks. grab a candle. It's one of the most memorable days in a person's life. Just excited for the day. We have lots of good friends and family coming to join us. The embellishments are all there. The cake, the flowers. I'm feeling good. I mean, I'm not nervous. Very calm. Is that freaking everybody out? Their story begins five years ago. Immediately connected. Julie knew she loved Jerry right away. Like I've known him for years and years. And Jerry felt the same. I thought she was wonderful. But on this February afternoon. Hi. Hi. You'll find something different about this wedding venue. We're at the Peabody Room at Copper Ridge, you know, having our wedding so our parents can be here to enjoy it. There's no aisle for the bride to march down. Instead, she and Jerry greet the guest as they arrive. Hi, Dad. And then. <laughs> oh. Oh. A guest of honor shows up. Mm. Daddy. Julie's father lives here. Oh, you're squeezing me tight. <laughs> Hi. That's <now>. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> He's been at Copper Ridge for four years. Very handsome. It's a facility you, for Alzheimer's and dementia patients. Can I have a kiss? Oh. oh, her mother lives in the neighboring facility. <laughs> Mom just got to the point where she couldn't manage my father's day to day needs. So they brought the wedding to them. We wanted to make sure that they were able to witness witness us making the commitment um, before we lose them, because we're not sure how much longer we have them to be with us. A year from now, who knows if he's going to be able to drive, you know, or my mom's going to be able to to get around as well as she does now, you know? Because time stops for no one. <laughs> so dad has progressed through Alzheimer's. Physically, he's a pretty healthy guy. Um, he's 90 years old and he has lost most of his words. Oh, there he goes, there he goes. He was the first love of my life. First loves, bearing witness to promises for the future. Julie, I promise to be faithful to you and all we hold dear. My Jerry. I thank God for you. I wrote a list about what I wanted in a partner and you showed up. You are my heart and soul. Oh, I can't kiss you yet. <laughs> <laughs> Tears are balanced out by laughter. Jerry, you may now kiss your bride. <laughs> On to Ever After. In Sykesville. I love you, honey. Kelly Anderson, Fox 45 News. <laughs>